anyone know about the chakras? Is anyone familiar with the chakras in yoga? Okay, well, in ancient Indian tradition believed that there were energy centers in our body. Uh, and each part of our body correlated with a different one of these energy centers. And picture uh, seven different spots along your spine. These are called chakras, and chakra is loosely translated to um, energy wheels. So that there are seven chakras. The first one is uh, the root chakra, which is at the base of your spine, that's your tailbone. And the next is the sacral chakra, which is about two inches below your navel. And then the solar plexus above your navel, your heart chakra, your throat chakra, your third eye, and your crown chakra. And we perform best when our chakras are all balanced. And our chakras can become, come out of balance with things happening in our lives, stress, relationships. If we don't feel physically well, the chakras can become out of balance. So today we will be discussing the root chakra, which is the first chakra. And it's, the root chakra is the, let's see, it's the one that makes us feel grounded, safe, and secure. And it can be thrown out of balance when we are fearful or worried and have anxiety. And the way to balance the root chakra can be through meditation, through music, or through movement. And the specific movements would be obvious things like walking out in nature, gardening, and um, yoga. And there are certain asanas, which are the poses in yoga that will help us balance our root chakras. So we're gonna focus on those today. All right, so let's gently start to close our eyes, feeling grounded, coming into stillness, Bring your awareness to your breath, keeping your spine straight, and relaxing the shoulders. Breathing deeply and relaxing. And now bring your awareness to your root chakra at the base of your spine. And picture a red light, a warm red light around your root chakra. Breathe deeply in and out as you feel yourself held and grounded <coughs> into the support of the earth. With each inhalation, Exhalation, let go of anything that doesn't serve you. Send it down your spine and into the earth. Breathing in calm and a sense of security. Breathing out and relaxing. begin to bring movement in our spine by making big circles with our torso, slow and steady, making that circle as big as you can and pausing anywhere that you feel any extra tightness. See if you can bring your chest close to your legs. direction when you're ready. Grounding your sit bones. And now lift your chest, come back to the center. And let's drop our chin to our chest and make 
circles with the top of our head. Keeping your shoulders down away from your ears. Softening the jaw. And all the muscles in your face. And reverse when you're ready. Bring the left hand down and the right arm reaching up and over, grounding your right hip. <clears throat> Inhale back up, bringing the left arm up and exhale, reaching the left arm up and over, actively reaching through your fingertips. One more time, inhale the right arm up as you drop the left hand, and exhale, reach it up and over, feeling a nice long stretch along the side of your body. Inhale the left arm up, and exhale, reach it over. Back to the center. And let's bring the right hand over to the left ear. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, drop the shoulders, push the left hand down into the mat. Actively relaxing your shoulders. Take a few deep breaths here. stretch along the left side of your neck and now tilt your chin towards your right arm and pull your chin down towards your chest <clears throat> and release bring the right hand down to the mat and reach the left arm up and over, take a deep breath in. Exhale, release the shoulders. Pull your left ear down. Keep breathing and relaxing. Finding stillness. And now turn your chin towards your left underarm and pull your chin down towards your chest. Let's bring the left leg in front so your shins are parallel but staggered and begin to walk your hands forward. Still grounding your sit bones, lengthening the spine slow and steady. Every exhale relaxes the muscles a little bit more. Deep breaths. And now slowly begin to walk your hands back, lifting your chest, pushing into the earth, bringing yourself up. Hands down, bring your feet flat and your feet as wide as your shoulders and then just drop your knees from side to side. Relaxing the hips. One more 
of time each side. <clears throat> back to the center now and let's bring the right leg in front keeping your ankles uncrossed lift your chest and then begin to walk it forward slowly lower your chest the breath. Remember to keep your exhales as long as your inhales, especially when you're doing something that's a challenge for you. to stay present here and then begin to walk your hands back lifting your chest good and then bring your hands back and your feet flat and then again slowly windshield wiper your knees side to side Pausing any place you feel you need a little extra love. And now bring the knees back to the center. Extend the left leg out and bring the sole of your right foot against your <clears throat> left thigh, left palm facing up, and you can slide it under your left calf, and then inhale the right arm up, keeping the shoulder relaxed, keeping your head and neck relaxed. Breathe, just reaching through your fingertips. and your hips over your left leg and begin to walk your hands forward keeping your spine as straight as possible like someone's pulling a string from the crown of your head and feel a nice stretch down the back of your left leg more deep breaths here and on your next inhale slowly walk your hands back lifting your chest and now cross your right foot over your left Hug that right knee in tightly, sitting nice and tall, bringing your chest towards your knee. Inhale the right arm up. And exhale, turn, look over your right shoulder and drop your right hand behind. Keep the chest lifted. center. Extend the right leg out and bring the left foot in. <clears throat> right palm is up under your right calf and then inhale the left arm up opening up the front of your body. Breathe. Relax the jaw, relax the shoulders. Reaching through your left fingertips. And now 
turn your hips and your shoulders over your right leg and begin to walk your hands out, keeping the spine as straight as possible. You can grab onto the bottom of your foot or your ankle if that feels good. Try not to round your spine here. Steady breathing. Let's take two more deep breaths. On your next inhale, walk your hands back, lift your chest. Good, and now cross your left foot over. Hug that left knee in nice and tightly, sitting tall. left arm up and exhale drop the left hand behind and turn and look over your shoulder back to the center extend both legs out in front grounding your sit bones Lengthening your spine, inhale, arms reach, and exhale, fold it all the way forward. Never forcing. If it feels too hard to keep your legs straight, you can always bend your knees a little bit. Exhale, the muscles relax a little bit more. Relax all the tension in your face. One more deep breath. your knees, plant your feet, and then wrap your arms under your knees, clasp onto your <coughs> elbows, and then just lower your chest. <coughs> and now round your spine a little bit for a nice low back stretch. Let's come to all fours now. Knees right under your hips, hands under your shoulders. And let's take a few cat cows here, inhaling as you lift your chest and drop your belly. And exhaling when we round the spine, tuck the tailbone, press into the mat, spread your fingers. Inhale, lift, drop the shoulders, exhale, round. And take a few of those on your own now. Inhaling when you lift your chest and exhaling as you round your spine. Pulling your belly up against your spine when you round. meet in a neutral spine and begin to reach your right arm all the way through under your body as far as you can and then bring your right shoulder down to the mat and your head is completely relaxed option to extend your left arm forward if that feels good for you today just breathe into the stretch 
Notice the sensations in your body and see where you feel the tightest and breathe into those tight spots. Breathing in calm and peace. Extended your left arm, begin to bring your left hand under your shoulder and slowly push yourself up. And let's do the same on the other side, sliding the left arm all the way through as far as you can, bringing the left shoulder down and extend the right arm as you did that on the other side. shoulder and push yourself up and now bring the hips right over your knees setting up for puppy pose so keeping the hips right where they are we're just going to walk our hands forward and bring the chest down to the back if this is too intense bend your elbows and bringing your chest as close to the mat as you can your hands back under your shoulders and pushing yourself back up bring your hips back to your heels for child's pose and then extend your arms forward I am calm I am relaxed I am grounded that mantra to yourself as you relax into the pose. I am calm. I am relaxed. I am grounded. Back to tabletop position, hands under your shoulders, setting up for our first downward dog. Tuck your toes, spread your fingers, lift your knees, press into the earth, lift your hips away from your shoulders, drive your chest towards your legs, and let your head be heavy between your upper arms. Head and neck relax, and let's pedal our heels stretching out our calves. Keep pressing evenly between your hands, lifting your shoulders away from your hips. Both heels down now. A couple more deep breaths here, lengthening the spine. Walk your feet to your hands. Clasp onto your elbows now for ragdoll. Relaxing your upper body completely and slowly sway from side to side. Inhale the arms up, palms touch. 
exhale, hands at your heart. And let's just take a moment here to ground ourselves. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Step it back to a high plank. Downward facing dog, lift your hips. Press the mat away. Bring your weight to your left foot and inhale the right leg up. Bend your right knee and then let your right foot fall over to the left, pressing evenly between the hands now. Straighten out the right leg behind you again. And then slowly step your right foot forward between your hands, staying on the ball of your left foot. Hips press down. Sternum reaches forward. Take a few deep belly breaths here. Relaxing the shoulders. your left hand and slowly inhale the right arm up looking up at your right hand if it doesn't hurt your neck left leg is straight and strong and slowly bring the right hand back down step the right foot back Downward facing dog. Really lifting those hips. Bring the weight to your right foot now. Inhale the left leg up. Pressing the right heel down. Bend your left leg and let your left foot fall slightly over to the right, still pressing into the mat. out your left leg behind you now and slowly step your left foot forward between your hands staying on the ball of your right foot lifting your chest sternum pressing forward hips descend breathe pushing the right heel away shoulders relaxed slow and steady breathing fingers. Inhale, reach and exhale to the left, reaching up and over, reaching through your fingers. Inhale, center. See if you can relax your shoulders. Exhale, reach it up and over. Inhale, center. Exhale, hands at your heart. Bringing your awareness again. 
again to your breath. to the top of our mat. We're going to be doing a few standing poses now, thinking about being strong and stable and grounded. We'll start with warrior one on the right side. So step your left foot back and turn your left foot in. And now bend your right knee, keeping your knee directly over your ankle, and then inhale the arms up. Drop the shoulders, reach through your fingertips. You can go as deep as you feel comfortable here, pressing evenly between both feet. Lengthen and smooth out your breath, pressing into the earth. Arms out to the side now, warrior two. Bring your hips to face the long edge of the mat and the outside of your left foot is aligned with the short edge of your mat. And make sure your shoulders stay over your hips and then gaze softly over your right hand. Straighten out your right leg, triangle pose, reach forward and then bring your right hand down, maybe towards your shin, reaching through your left fingertips, tuck your tailbone, keep your hips stacked. together behind now. Inhale, lift your chest, drive your hands down, and exhale, slowly fold forward, bringing your arms up over your head. Relax your neck, your jaw. See if you can reach your hands forward a little bit more. Bring your hands down to the mat now. And turn your fingers towards the back and then begin to walk your hands back between your legs and just hold and breathe, bringing the crown of your head down towards the mat. Relaxing the shoulders. Good, and now walk your hands back to the center. Bring your hands to your hips. Inhale up to standing. Warrior one, left side, turn your left toes out. Align your left heel with your right instep and then just turn your right foot in slightly. Hips pointing forward. Bend your left knee. Inhale, the arms up. Pressing evenly between your feet. Grounding. Shoulders relaxed. Arms float out to the side, warrior two. Turn your hips toward the long edge of your mat and align the outside of your right foot with the short edge of your mat and then gaze softly over your left fingers. Shoulders relaxed. Triangle pose, straighten out your left leg, and now slide your rib cage forward. Bring your left hand down and the right arm up. Tuck your tailbone, keep the hips open. Doesn't matter how low you go. Pressing into the mat, feeling strong and grounded. <clears throat>
down at your left hand and slowly come up to standing. Hands on your hips, feet pointing forward. Hands behind. Inhale, lift your chest and exhale, fold forward. Bring your hands down to the mat. And then we're going to pivot to the right, keeping the right foot forward. Bring your left knee down. Left toe points. And then begin to sit back. Lifting the right toes and lowering your chest towards your right leg. Breathe. Inhale forward, bringing your knee over your ankle. And exhale back one more time. Sitting back on your left heel, lifting your right toes, lower your chest. Inhale forward, hands on your right leg, lift your chest, inhale the arms up, leaning back slightly, reaching through your fingertips, good, and now bring your elbows out to the side. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift your chest, pressing into the earth. <clears throat> and now bring your hands down to the inside of your right foot. Roll to the outside of your right foot. Maybe you want to move your left knee back a little bit. Let your right knee fall out to the side slightly. Either stay here or bring your elbows down a little closer if you can. And breathe. Breathing into those tight spots. Take two more breaths here. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Tuck your left toe. And now we're gonna pivot back to the center. And then over to the left. Lift the left leg forward now and right knee comes down. Sitting back on the right heel, straightening out the left leg, lower your chest. Breathing into the back of the body now. Relax your jaw. Inhale, come forward, knee over your ankle, and exhale, sitting all the way back one more time, straightening out the left leg. Let your upper body relax. forward, bringing your left knee over your ankle, hands inside, and now roll to the outside of your left foot and let your knee fall out to the side if you can. Either stay here or bring your elbows down, see if you can come a little closer to the mat. Big hip opener stretch here. Breathe deeply.
bring your hands to your left leg, lifting your chest. Inhale the arms up, reaching through your fingertips, maybe a little back bend. Shoulders relax. And now bring your elbows out to your sides, squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift your heart, pressing into the earth. your right toe, step your left leg back, now we're facing dog, walk your feet to your hands, and now we're going to come into chair pose, so reaching your arms over your head, feet are just hip distance apart, Sitting back on your heels, shoulders down, reaching through your fingertips. Breathe. Inhale up to standing. Exhale, hands at your heart. Now let's bring our feet facing the outer corners of our mat. And we're just gonna sit down now in a low squat, pressing into your feet, chest is lifted, spine is straight, sitting back on your heels. Couple of deep breaths here. Remember with every exhale we come a little lower. Relax a little bit more. Staying calm. And now bring your hands down to the mat and slowly make your way over onto your back. And let's find bridge pose here. Reach your hands forward, see if you can feel your heels there. Begin to tuck your shoulders under. Clasp your hands together. <coughs> press into the earth, evenly between your feet. Stretching out the front of our body here. Keep pressing into the earth, lifting your hips. your hands and roll down one vertebrae at a time. And let's do that one more time. Slowly inhale, lift your hips, clasp your hands, tuck your shoulders, press the balls and the heels of your feet. your hands, roll it back down, and now step your feet to the outer edges of your mat, arms out to the side in a T, and drop your knees to the right. Gaze over at your left hand, shoulders relaxed on the mat, to the center, exhale knees to the left and gaze over at your right hand, inhale center, exhale right, center and exhale to the left. Knee 
knees back to the center. Now stretch your body long, bringing your heels to the corners of your mat. Reach your arms over your head. Reach. And now let's pull the right knee into our chest. Roll the right ankle. And reverse direction. And let's slowly straighten out the right leg. Sole of your feet up towards the sky. You can walk your hands up and grab onto your shin or your heel, keeping the right leg as straight as possible and your left hamstring down. Breathe into the back of your right leg and pull the leg a little closer. You can bend your left leg if it's too intense on your hip flexor. Good, now bend your right knee and clasp onto the bottom of your foot. Happy baby, bring your right knee down towards the mat. <clears throat> Try to keep your ankle over your knee for a deeper stretch. Shoulders relaxed. You can move around a little bit here if it feels good in your hip and your hamstring. And now release your foot, pull your right knee back in towards your chest. And now rotate over to the left, bringing your right foot down if you can. You can hold that right knee down above your knee with your left hand. Extend the right arm out to the side, breathing, relaxing with every exhale, your shoulder blade comes closer to the mat. your body long reach feeling a nice big stretch in the front of your body and now pull the left knee in and roll your ankle one way and the other Begin to straighten out your left leg now, bringing your hand to your calf, away from your knee. Right hamstring is pressing into the mat. You can walk your hands up a little higher. Pull the leg in a little closer as you relax the muscles. your left knee for happy baby bring your hand to the bottom of your foot pull that knee down towards the mat outside your body listen to your breathing your foot pull the left knee in and then slowly rotate your hips to bring your left foot over to the right side hold it down and extend your left arm out to the side breathe into that shoulder bringing the left shoulder blade down if you can never forcing use your breath to relax
chest and then rock from side to side, bringing your attention to your root chakra. Shavasana. So take a moment to get yourself comfortable. Maybe put your socks on or your jacket or anything to make you feel completely comfortable. And then on your back, if it feels good, let your feet flop out to the side, palms facing up. body getting heavy, feeling the support of the earth, letting everything go. The only thing that matters is this moment right here, right now. your upper arms, your elbows, your lower arms, and your wrists. Relax your hands and all your fingers out to your fingertips. now to your belly and feel your lower back completely releasing melting into the earth your upper body is completely relaxed soften your hips and your pelvis are melting into your hamstrings and your hamstrings melting into the earth. Soften the tops of your knees and the backs of your knees. Shins are melting into the calves and calves are melting into the earth. Soften your inner and outer ankles, the tops of your feet, the soles of your feet, and relax all your toes. 
whole body is completely relaxed, feeling the support of the earth, feeling grounded and secure. Find peace within. May you be strong in mind and body. May you feel loved and supported. <coughs> as we end our practice today for our health, our well-being, the air we breathe, the food we eat, and this earth that we share. And may we never take a moment for granted. Bow your head. Namaste. everyone. I hope everyone's feeling grounded and secure now.